Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns Daniel Bryan questioning the WWE's logic behind the current storyline with him and Kane and what transpired on Raw last week. Now, this is according to DWN. Link source proven in the description. Make sure you go check them out. Go pay for their newsletter. Um, it's no secret that Daniel Bryan doesn't speak out backstage and doesn't carry an ego. It's been noted that on DWN how most top stars will question WWE creative decisions, but Daniel Bryan won't. However, word from backstage is that Daniel Bryan even questioned the logic from last week's Raw where creative had him running scared from Kane. Elsewhere in the company, like online with fans, the booking was greeting with an overwhelming degree of pessimism. One observer commented, if this is Triple H's way of slowly killing Brian's momentum, it is working. Well, I mean, most fans saw that as a step down. Most fans saw that as a direct way of trying to kill Daniel Bryan's momentum. You know what? It's too early to comment. It's too early to see... If that is what the WWE's ultimate decision is being. And who knows if this is a Triple H idea. This could just be a creative idea or Vince's idea or Stephanie. Who's to say that it was all Triple H's idea for this storyline to happen? I mean, creative does deal with a lot of the storylines and the development and how they're going to start and how they're going to evolve and how they're going to end and how they're going to begin and all this other stuff. So, I mean, it does have to be approved by the powers that be uh, most times. But for Daniel Bryan, I mean, yeah, even though as atrocious and as, as horrible as that storyline may have been last week, you know, you, you, the match that he had at Extreme Rules was pretty good. Uh, the, the works before that was pretty good. And I'm not going to just, you know, trample on it. Like I said, as, as bad as it was, I think the WWE is going to deliver tonight on Raw. I think they, they are going to pick up on what was a, a horrible situation, and they're going to make the best of a bad decision. The WWE isn't perfect. The WWE have messed up. They've made blunders. They have made mistakes, but they recalculate. They, 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 you know, their judgment sometimes isn't always there, but they try to rectify the situation and they try to make the most of it. And I think that this Daniel Bryan Kane feud, although it doesn't have many, much more legs to stand on, I think it is going to run its course if it hasn't already. And I, I think it's going to have enough pull to where people want to see it one more time. And I know there's a lot of people that are sick of it. And there's a lot of people that don't want to see it because we all know Kane is going to end up losing. And Daniel Bryan is going to be the end, the one that get, ends up being put over. But my problem is, isn't what we saw last week on Raw. My problem is, I am already getting comments. I'm getting messages. I'm seeing it on the messaging boards. I, I, I'm seeing it in, in, all over the internet. Oh, I'm sick of Daniel Bryan. I don't like Daniel Bryan as champion. Daniel Bryan's run has already been killed off. Da, 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 da. You're already sick of Daniel Bryan as champion? And it's not even three months into it? Really? All the same people that wanted Daniel Bryan the champion, wanted to see him succeed, and all of a sudden he's Super Bryan, just like Super Cena. I don't understand. I don't get it. You wanted Bryan as champion, he's champion. It's not Daniel Bryan's fault the way he's getting booked. Daniel Bryan isn't in charge of creative. Daniel Bryan is taking the best and making the most of an awful situation. You can't blame Daniel Bryan. He's doing the best. The guy's the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. You can only make something work for so long. And what we saw last week on Raw, I don't think the WWE is going to continue down that path because it did kill Daniel Bryan's momentum to a certain degree, but it didn't kill him all the way. Okay, I don't know if it's deliberate. I don't know if this is a shot at Daniel Bryan. I don't know if this is to make Daniel Bryan look weak. But in the end, I think the WWE is going to turn the storyline around. And if they don't, well, then I'm proved wrong. I was wrong in the past. I'll be wrong again. Subscribe.